Hey guys, it's Mr. AJ Stack here. Um, I'm gonna show you how to jailbreak an iPhone 3G on 3. I mean not 3.1.3, 4.0 uh, stock firmware, no GM. So right here we got a 3G. You can tell we don't have multitasking, and we don't have the wallpaper. So we're gonna show you how to jailbreak it with Red Snow. First thing you're gonna want to do, uh, we're gonna go to this site and at the bottom we there's a windows and then there's mac same uh, same kind of process for mac so uh... it works for iphone 3g and ipod touch 2g mc model so we're just gonna keep getting text over there uh... we're just gonna go extract the file and have your firmware over here that you just restored to. We're gonna open it. Sorry, I'm not used to using Windows. I've been using my Mac for a while. Decided to do a Windows video. Over here, Red Snow. Run. Browse for your firmware. And that is on your desktop, right here. Wait for it to uh, give you a check mark or whatever it's gonna say. It's processing firmware. Do you want to read that? Now it says IPSW is successfully identified. I'm going to click next. It's going to kind of get it prepared. So at this point, it's going to ask you if, what you want um, custom boot logo. I'm going to unclick enable multitasking. Um, going to put battery percentage on. Um, multitasking runs really slow or slows down the phone overall, but home screen wallpaper isn't really that bad. So we're going to click next and we are going to turn off the phone. So we'll just switch it off. for the device to turn off and it's off. Now we are going to need to I'm gonna switch the camera a little bit. I'm gonna show you how to put into the steps. So once your device is off, we're gonna click next, hold the home or hold the power. Now we'll hold both of them until it has uh, prompts on the screen. And then Keep holding it. Now we'll hold the home button until it's in DFU. I think I could have messed up. Oh, okay. So there's there it goes. We're just gonna hold the home and make sure. Okay, and we uh, got the jailbreak going. Uploading second stage. And here we go. DFU may basically the screen is dead, but it it is in a hardware kind of mode. So now we're looking at uploading second step or second stage, as it says up here, waiting for reboot. And we got downloading jailbreak da data and uploading RAM disk. It's a pretty simple jailbreak. Um, shouldn't take that long. We're at about four minutes right now. So again, it doesn't work for iPhone 3GS. Apparently there's no iOS 4 for this. <laughs> so we're just waiting for the reboot. We're uploading Randis. Okay, now it should be uh, just finishing up. Red, it's done using the computer now. It's just all on the device. Just 
just waiting for the... And... Oh, yeah, we got the pineapple running around, running along. Mm -hmm. Spongebob. That doesn't look like Spongebob. <laughs> or uh, it's when his house got, uh, started running away. I don't know if anybody's watched that episode of Spongebob. Leave a comment below if you watch that episode of Spongebob where his house goes away. You know, run, run. So we can just hit finish over here, and we're just waiting for syncing file systems. And we're waiting for the reboot. Too bad I didn't have my iPhone 4 yet. This video would be in way better quality. Hmm. But mine's on back order. Or if the iPad had a camera. Okay, so it seems this is just finishing up. Okay, here we are. Wait for everything to get okay. Okay, so there's wallpaper working. There's Cydia. Okay, guys, this was how to jailbreak a iPhone 3G on iOS 4. Rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, see ya.